still happening? So thankfully, I have not personally. Um, but to that point, um, last year was 50th anniversary of Fair Housing. Um, and we actually, our um, association put on a, a phenomenal program um, with some realtors that were, you know, practicing then. Um, and it's so amazing to see how far we have come. Um, but to your point, we still have so far to go. Wow. And that's where I feel like it's, like you said, you know, the attitude of never give up. I think sometimes people, um, they're stuck in their situation and their in their circumstances. And maybe, you know, generations past, there were, there were, let's just say there were people that stopped them, right, <laughs> you know, right, from, right. from moving forward. Um, but many times when that's generational, you don't know where to go or, or, and I'm sure that there are situations where that still happens. It's illegal, but, you know, I'm not naive to think that it doesn't happen, even though I haven't personally um, dealt with that. What I would encourage people to do, though, is to realize and educate themselves on what the laws are and what opportunities are available to them and what is not acceptable and to call that out. Um, like I said, I haven't personally ran into that, but one of the things that I find is that there are things that we know are wrong and people overlook it and, you know, just kind of go on, you know, along with their business. And if we do not call out what is wrong, right. then it's never going to change and it's going to continue. Um, so, you know, I'm a big proponent of progress. And like I said, I, I feel like we've come a very long way. I feel fortunate as a young African-American woman to be able to do all that I do and all the opportunities that I'm afforded. But I'm not, I'm not, um, I'm, I'm very aware of the fact that there are so many that paved the way for me. And so because of that, it is my job to make sure that I'm doing the same for the generations coming after me. That's the advice you would have for a real estate, an up and coming real estate agent or somebody thinking about coming into the business? Best advice that I would give them is kind of what we spoke on before, which is to never give up. You have to be really tough um, to survive, much less to thrive in this right. business. Um, it's, it's very hard, um, but it's one of my greatest passions. The, the feeling that you get to work with someone from point A to point B, I, I don't take it for granted that I'm, I'm given this opportunity every day. Um, but it's a lot of hard work. It, it really is. And so I would just encourage them um, to, to, to keep going, you know, to, to not give up and to learn the most that they can learn. Because I, I find there are a lot of people that, well, I've been in for 30 years and I know it, it, we can always, always learn. We can always learn something. So I guess it would be two, um, to never give up, you know, keep pushing and to always keep learning. Wow. Well, I appreciate it. I thank you for your time. Absolutely. And, uh, I always have time for one of my favorite clients. Uh, so I appreciate <laughs> it. Um, and I, I do hopefully look forward to working with you again in the future. Um, I have some things in mind that I okay. want to do for the property. I'm ready. But, um, <laughs> I got to make sure I'm together and I come to you correct. Any shots out you wanted to do to family or whatever? whatever. <laughs> this is your to time. And friends. This is your um, time. I want to say kudos to, to my hubby. Um, he's my biggest supporter. Um, I feel very blessed. I have an amazing village of people. Um, and, I, and I always say that because I'm a big proponent of giving people their roses when they're alive. You know, once they're dead and gone, you know, we, we come together and say, oh, they were so nice and they were so this and they were so that. No, I'll tell them when they're alive. So um, definitely big kudos to the hubby. Um, I, I feel very fortunate to do what I do. Um, and I, I take a lot of pride in being a realtor. Um, you know, whether it's from helping somebody buy or sell a home to, you know, I'm very involved with our public policy and advocacy, you know, efforts. Um, because I want to, I want to make my community a better place because of me being here. Um, so anything that I can do to make that happen, I'm all for it. Um, so I thank you for the opportunity to, to be showcased on, <laughs> on your, your social media um, and whatnot. And I, I love your entrepreneurial spirit. Um, love your wife and your little girl, um, and I'm just happy to be a part. Thank you so much also for uh, the onesie that you got for her, especially <laughs> yes. Princess Savannah. That was lovely. <laughs> she is it, a princess. Yeah. So, uh, definitely. So, thank you. Until next time, Ms. Kara. Absolutely. Live, love, sell, VA.